Hey guys, welcome back. We got another DSR Farms video today for you and we are doing some lamb. Easter's right around the corner and I've got a super simple way to fix one right here. Stay tuned. We're going to start off with just a really simple rub right here. I've got about a tablespoon of each salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then I've also got a tablespoon of ground coffee just like you would make for breakfast. Next, since we're cooking this in the crock pot and this is just a little bit big, I'm going to trim up right here at the shank just a little bit. Uh, it's very simple. Just take a sharp knife and kind of follow this joint around until it will bend freely. And then that'll let you fold it up and stick it in the crock pot. Now I make a few slits uh, on both sides of the shoulder here and I just take some garlic cloves that I've quartered up and I shove in these slits and then I just sprinkle my rub all over and make sure I just get every inch of it good and coated. If you enjoy my content, you like what you're seeing and you want to just kind of hang out with me a little bit more, you can check me out over on my Facebook page or on Instagram. I try and post on Instagram four or five times a week anyway. And then I also have a Discord server if you want to get on and just chat with me and a couple other people that just kind of have similar interest and just see what happens. All those links are down in the description below. I cooked mine on low for about eight hours and it was just fall apart tender. As you can see here, the bones just slide right out and then I just put on some oven gloves and kind of remove all the meat because I'm gonna take this broth and make a gravy with it. This gravy is pretty simple. It's uh, about three tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour. Uh, I just cook that for about a minute just till all the flour gets cooked and then I add in about all of that broth, I think it was about two cups, and just let that kind of come up to a bowl and then simmer until it gets as thick as I want it. And now all that's left to do now that the gravy is done is pour this over the lamb and uh, enjoy. Hope y'all have a great Easter and thanks for watching.